The index is on track for a loss of more than 3% in November, its worst performance in a year. Markets have been wanting to get ahead of the next big theme monetary easing, better conditions for risk assets, and a weaker dollar. But as we've seen this morning, that's starting to run out of steam, said Simon Harvey, head of FX analysis at Monex Europe. Shorter term we're keeping an eye on the general sentiment in markets the big trade of this month has been long equities, short dollar. And then these psychological levels the euro has bumping against $1.096, and each of its runs at that in the past week has been thwarted. The euro and sterling were broadly steady, with the common currency at 1.095 for dollar and the pound at 12628 both around their highest in about three months. Market expectation that the Fed's rate increase cycle has finally come to an end has also put downward pressure on the greenback. U.S. rate futures showed about a 25% chance that the Fed could begin cutting rates as early as March, and increasing to around 50% by May, according to the CME FedWatch tool. Traders are now eyeing you. S. Core Personal Consumption Expenditures PCE Price Index, the Fed's preferred measure of inflation. This week, for more confirmation that inflation in the world's largest economy is slowing, PCE tops off a slew of other key economic events this week, including flash inflation data from major eurozone economies. With block-wide data due Thursday, Chinese Purchasing Managers Index PMI data, and an OPEC Plus decision. After delaying its policy meeting to this Thursday, OPEC Plus is looking at deepening oil production cuts, Reuters reported, citing an OPEC Plus source. The Japanese yen was a touch firmer at 148.45 per dollar, continuing its recovery from the brink of 152 per dollar earlier in the month as the dollar weakened. The Swiss franc was at 0.881 per dollar, steady on the day, also around its firmest since the start of September, and the Australian dollar briefly touched a near four-month high of $0.6632, the momentarily hit its highest since August, 10 at $0.611 for a dollar before sliding back. The Reserve Bank of New Zealand has its monetary policy meeting on Wednesday where it is expected to keep interest rates steady at 5.5% for the fourth straight time.